Trafigo's approach to environmental management is to, to minimise the adverse impacts on the nat natural environment, while at the same time managing the climate change issues, which are becoming more and more important. We do that by measuring our impacts and our emissions and establishing targets to reduce them. We've been managing environmental risk for, for many years now. What's changing now is that our, our business performance is being informed by our environmental strategy. Trafigur is a leading commodity company. We have a footprint that includes mines and industrial facilities. So we have to manage our emissions to meet the expectations of stakeholders, be they the communities in which we operate or the banks or governments which host our operations. We're well placed to support the transition to a low carbon economy because we supply many of the commodities that are going to be necessary for that transition. Aluminium to lighten things, uh, copper for the electrification, and nickel and cobalt for, for batteries. Essentially, we try and uh, minimise the, the emissions associated with the transportation and production of these commodities. So we shift from road to rail where we can, or barges where we can, and this makes good business sense. Some of the commercial opportunities that we're now developing which are aligned with our environmental strategy include the establishing of the power and renewables division, which is not only trading power and energy options, but also to look at installing renewable power and also battery storage solutions. These will enable customers to reduce their emissions. Another example is, is Nala Renewables, which is a joint venture between ourselves and IFM investors. One target they have is to install two gigawatts of renewable power within the next five years. This could contribute, depending on where these are installed, up to two million tonnes of avoided emissions. Another opportunity we've recently announced is H2 Energy, which is looking to install a hydrogen fuel system for trucks across Europe. Further to that, we've established the low carbon aluminium desk. Uh, Impala terminals are looking at supplying zero carbon logistics and we're also looking at low carbon options for shipping. These initiatives are all good for the environment, but there's a commercial reason for this as well. And one of those is, is working with our banks to obtain access to, to lower cost finance if we can meet the targets that we've established. We've set a target to reduce our scope one and two emissions by 30% within three years. We'll achieve this in four key ways. The first way is to improve the efficiency of our of operations. We think that by making it a management priority to manage fuel use, we can ob obtain a 5% reduction in emissions. The second way is through larger scale projects, which take longer to deliver, but have a bigger impact. We're going to install solar panels where it's commercially and operationally feasible. And in our owned fleet, we're looking to install sensors so we can optimize the, their fuel use. Another area is through purchasing renewable power. This is a big opportunity for Nearstar and where the, the country and the supplier offers an opportunity for green electricity, we'll take that. There'll always be some emissions that, that cannot be reduced in these ways. For those, we'll consider offsetting them through the purchase of carbon offsets, although this will be a small part of the way the target's achieved. However, we recognise that two thirds of our emissions are scope three. These are indirect emissions, normally associated with the transportation of goods on vessels or in trucks. We can't ignore these, and we will be setting a target to reduce scope three emissions within three years. A big priority for the year ahead is going to be taking actions so we, we get on track to meet our greenhouse gas reduction targets. So Traficor's environmental performance has, has been good this year. I think we've made great strides forward in the way we're managing our, our greenhouse gas emissions, not only on the reporting side, but working with more people across the company, uh, more people engaged, more people understanding about the processes that we, we've put in place to, to measure and, and report these emissions. Our emissions have gone up 16% uh, this year. However, the portfolio has changed substantially because we've in incorporated uh, Nearstar. Uh, Nearstar make up 18% of our emissions, so that's really changed the, the portfolio uh, that, that, that we have. Shipping make up a large percentage of our emissions, which have gone up this year, partly in response to the COVID crisis, which involved more, more transportation, but also more floating storage. There's much more engagement on these issues, both internally and, and externally, and we're involved in the, in the public debate. Two examples of this are the, um, the carbon levy paper we put out for shipping, uh, advocating for a, a high carbon tax to drive the transition to low carbon shipping fuels. And also we're, we're engaged in the responsible sourcing of the commodities that will facilitate the transition. 
This is a, a business issue as well as an environmental issue and these two things are, are coming together. And this cooperation will be a major contributor to helping us improve our environmental performance in the coming years.